I'm Sunny Cook, and I'm president at Miracosta College, and uh, it, that's a long way from here. Uh, but it's still in San Diego County. It's in northwest San Diego County in Oceanside. And so Miracosta has four sites in which we serve over about 30,000 students each year, um, offering them transfer education, uh, career education, which is really why I'm uh, here today, uh, and all kinds of adult uh, training opportunities for people to reenter uh, education and the workforce. But in my role this morning, I'm really here as a regional representative, and there are others that you'll hear from that lead the regional work of the community colleges uh, in San Diego and Imperial counties. And so I want to just kind of set some context for you this morning. So um, anybody want to guess how many community colleges are in the state of California? 114, who said that? Price for you, you're in the system. <laughs> so yeah, we have 114 community colleges all along the state. And in San Diego County, we have 10 colleges and six districts. So this should give you a little bit, uh, and this includes Imperial Valley as well. So you can see uh, from the north section, Palomar Community College District, Miracosta, San Diego Community College District, Southwestern Community College District, Grossmont, Cuyamaca, and then Imperial Valley to the east. So six districts, 10 colleges, and we serve about a quarter of a million students every single year. And the impact that we have is that we offer career education for folks. Um, I would say somewhere around 25, 30% of our enrollments in general are folks that are bound from our community colleges to the workplace. Um, many of them want to go to a university and get a bachelor's degree, perhaps a master's, before they enter back into the workplace. But nine out of 10 of our students in these Sadika colleges end up either transferring or being in the workplace in our community. And if you, if you don't know, we serve an enormously diverse population of students. Ethnicity, gender, um, certainly their age range is enormous. And we try to get them from where they are to where they need to be. The beautiful thing is in the last three years, I've had the opportunity to work with the state to try to bring more attention, more emphasis, and more resources to career education. So in the last year or so, we have, well, in the last three years, we've started to work more closely as a region in our career education um, opportunities to really affect the region as a whole, not just those districts, those color boxes that we live within and the taxpayers that we represent, but really to look at our economy as a much more regional thing, to try to meet employers' needs and to meet the needs of individuals more as a region. Now, in San Diego, that's been an easier uh, thing for us to do because we've worked together as 10 colleges since the 1960s. We meet together regularly, <clears throat> we coordinate together, we collaborate, we advocate. So this has been kind of a natural progression for us to just emphasize the work that we do more collectively together. And the beauty is that we've had now an investment in the last couple of years of $16 million additional to our colleges to focus on career education, making more opportunities for our students in our region. So our challenge with that $16 million as a region is to do more and better career education. And what that means, community college people that are in the room, tell me what that means. What does more and better look like? New programs, expansions of programs, more enrollments in existing programs, more completions for students that enter the pipeline. Better, better alignment with employers. Be exactly, better alignment with employers. So <clears throat> working with employers to see what is an industry valued credential. And how has that credential changed over the last five to 10 years? We have a tremendous number of small businesses within our community, so working with them to identify what's important to them in certifying workplace skills and how has that changed with technology, with the workforce, with the processes that are changing. So that's what more and better looks like to us and it's a very big challenge because it's not like we haven't been trying to do the best work we can. Now we need to ratchet that up and it's a great challenge. So our opportunities are in really 
I will say the opportunities are in realizing the legislature and the governor have made a $250 million investment in communities in this state, in community colleges specifically to enhance workforce education and career education. That's a great opportunity. And in San Diego County, it's been $16 million, as I said, ongoing year after year to do this work. But what that means is there's greater accountability and we understand that our job is to help more individuals uh, climb the socioeconomic mobility ladder. We have more accountability in serving businesses. We have more accountability in doing more and better, obviously. And a new thing for us is we're not just educating people, handing them a certificate, and go, they go on their merry way. We now have to help them get and connected with employers and get jobs at the end of that. So those are opportunities. Challenges are, there's really no one single convener in San Diego County. There are many that think we're conveners. We try to be conveners because we want to do the right thing, but we're really working in silos to some extent. And we have the opportunity now to work more connectedly, more collaboratively, more coordinatedly as a whole. And, and that's both an opportunity and a challenge. I will speak for the community colleges alone. We have a lot of initiative fatigue. Our folks are reeling from one thing after another that we're chasing around doing. So we, our challenge is as community colleges leaders to show how workforce and career education fits within our broader umbrella of student success and closing the achievement and equity gap. That's the broad umbrella under which this work fits. Um, communication with our partners has improved in San Diego County, but we have a long way to go. We have a long way to go to communicate about what's happening in these varied uh, places where our funding is siloed and therefore our behavior and our actions are siloed. I think you mentioned employers, engaging employers more in this work, not just advising us about our curriculum, but helping us give experiences to our students at our internships, at our work-based learning, so that they can be prepared for the workplace when they enter day one. And also tapping into new markets of individuals who need to be served by us that may not be well served by community colleges or the workforce system or EDD right now. How do we bring those people into the, the workforce training system so that we can make them uh, productive and employable as possible? So I want you to close your eyes right now. I don't want anybody looking at me. Close your eyes. And I want you to think about a box, a big box, and it's got a thousand pieces of puzzle pieces in it. And you've just opened this box and you've dumped it out onto a table. How does that make you feel? Anybody feel anxious? I heard anxious. I heard anxious, right? But now, keep your eyes closed, and now you've turned all those puzzle pieces over, and the, t the faces, the surfaces, the images are now all facing up. How does that make you feel? Atten say it again? Potential. potential, potential. You've done some work, right? Now imagine you've worked hours and hours on that thousand piece puzzle, and you've got it to the point where you're putting the last piece in the puzzle. And so now open your eyes, right? All of us in this room are part of a workforce system, part of an economic development system, part of vocational rehab, part of K-12, part of the community college, part of the university, part of the county office of ed. Um, our parents, our students, our individuals seeking a, a, a better opportunity and a family sustaining wage. And, and I know that I've missed some people, right? I only had a limited number of puzzle pieces I could label, so forgive me if I missed you. But please understand that our best work together can only be done if we do this in a, in a coordinated and collaborative way. And we're working really hard, and I'll speak for Peter and the community colleges, we're working really hard to try to work better together. It's not that we've tried to exclude each other. Our, our funding and our legislation and our guidelines are not necessarily meant to work together. But our best work can only be done when we put all those pieces of the puzzle together and we coordinate, we collaborate, and we work together to really make sure we do three things. Make sure that we are focused on social mobility and social justice for every individual in our community. To make sure that we are preparing the workforce for the best talented pipeline we can produce and to support our economic, uh, our San Diego economic as a region and Imperial Valley economics as a region to grow and sustain businesses. So thank you very much. Thank you.